Okay, I'm going to go over the setup of my Xantrex uh, SW1000 pure sine wave inverter on my Travato. As you can see, I've got it mounted on a board, which just makes it easier to install inside the cabinet that I'm going to install it in. So I got it set up with the cables here, positive and negative cable. These are um, uh, zero um, size cables, and you can see I've got uh, lugs attached to the cables here. On this end, I have a little bit of shrink wrap just to protect them from banging against each other or other stuff that's inside the cabinet. And then I've got my 150 watt uh, fuse in line on the positive side. And I installed these lugs using this little device right here. This little thing. Uh, you put your lug in here. You put your cable in this end over here. And you just bang down on a hammer real hard here. And then it creates a really nice crimp. I'll just show you the crimp. So this is it crimped right here. So it crimps it really good. So I didn't need to um, cover that one on this side because it's being negative. But So anyway, so I got the Pro Watt. Lugs with the cables attached, fuse on the positive side, and then lugs on the positive and the negative end. So all I've got to do is install this. Now, I ran the cables through the cabinet first and through the hole in the um, bottom of the uh, Travato first, so I get the you know the right uh, cable length. And I added about six inches on each cent and just for a little um, safety margin. So I'll show you where. It, it, or I had made the hole and we're going to mount it in the cabinet. Okay, one of the things I forgot to show was the making of the ground cable. This is 6 gauge ground, which I actually just picked up at Lowe's. It's not like fine strand like the other stuff is, but it's just to be able to you know, ground the uh, Xantrex inverter to the chassis. So I'm just going to make this cable with my handy dandy little crimper and install it in the Travato. Okay, as you can see, I've got the uh, fuse panel off for the front of this cabinet right here. And I took the top of the cabinet off just to make it easier to get in and out of there because I'm actually installing it right against this little plate right here, and I'll show you in a second. So let me just put this down for a second. Okay, so now you can see I've got the Pro Watt. I just got it on that board right there. And I cut the board so it fit in there nicely. So now I just got to put the two screws up above here. The two screws above, and I got two screws below, and just bolt that in place into this is um, half inch or three quarter inch plywood right here. So uh, just bolt that in there and make it easy and easy. So now I have access through this hole right here to the um, inverter, which all the plugs and stuff are going to go into. Um, but I still have plenty of room to access that if I need to. Obviously, I'm using a remote. Um, and I'm going to cable this internally, so obviously you won't have access to these uh, plugs. But that's how that works. Okay, now you can see the hole that I have drilled through at the bottom. Basically, you just went into the bottom, see where the easiest place was to route the cables. And I've cut a hole, maybe it's about an uh, inch and a half. It's kind of oblong, it's about an inch and a half long and maybe about, maybe two inches long and about an inch and a half wide. To be able to fit the cables, I'm going to put some of this, uh, you know, this corrugated tubing like this in there too, so give it a little extra room. Then I'll fill it up with foam and all that kind of stuff like this. These other cables are done right here. So, um, so that's it. So now I'll show you from the other side where I'm going to put the fuse and where I'm going to hook up the back of the uh, inverter. Now you can see I've taken off the the little tube that holds the sewer pipe. I'm modifying that to make it bigger to fit a real sewer pipe size. So I figure I just take it off right now to make it easier to install the uh, inverter for now. But you can see I got lots of room in there. So let me just go back from the other side and show you from there. So now you can see where I'm going to mount the fuse block right there. The cables are going to come up. There's the hole. The cables are going to come up there. And pull this out of here. And there you can see where the back of the inverter is here. So it's obviously easier to get at all this stuff while this is off. It's obviously going to be tough. I'd have to mount it to the inverter first and kind of go from there. So this is a good way to do it. So that's that's where the inverter is going to go. It's kind of a cramped spot. It's kind of hidden away. I may be sorry that I did it this way, but um, we'll have to see. 
like I told you, I took off the I took off the sewer hose um, storage, which actually goes in there like this. I feel I peeled that off because this hole is just too small to fit a real sewer hose. This this large end won't fit in there, or just this narrow end will fit in there. Now I'm going to put a whole sewer hose in there, so I'm going to just use a bigger pipe and cut this up and figure that out, but I'll do that later on. So anyways, let's get this thing installed and I'll show you what it looks like after I've got it installed. Oh yeah, the other thing I want to show you is where I have the hole drilled. So here's my hole that's drilled. There's that uh, those other pipes that come up right here. And there's my new hole right here. So drilled, I made major I, I sanded it, I cut it with a with a drill and a dremel and then I sanded it off all nice and neat. Um, and then so the, so the wires are gonna come out of there, they're gonna pass under here. They're gonna go through this little thing right here and then they're gonna go over to uh, one of my batteries. Let's see if I can get back up here. It's gonna go back over my battery right here, so which is connected to the second battery. So um, that's gonna connect to here. It's gonna connect on top. Getting to those lugs on top is really hard. I actually insulated the end of my uh, ratchet so on when I was doing the positive so I didn't uh, ground it against the frame. So basically it's hard to get up one of those. I didn't want to take this whole battery thing off because it is friggin, oops, because it is way, way, way too heavy. So, um, so that's that. So the, it's gonna come from this battery up here. It's gonna go through here. It's gonna go across into the hole and then up into the van. And I'm gonna use a, you know, a corrugated tubing, very similar to this, uh, to keep everything protected. Okay, here's from the inside. There's a positive coming up through the hole. You can see the back side of the inverter. I can actually still put in that, that sewer pipe hose in here. It'll still fit. Because I've got the inverter way off to that one side. So I'm going to do something different. Make better use of that space. But if I wanted to, I could put it back in there. So that, that fuse... fuse uh, is actually screwed down and I got the cables all nicely set up okay I'm just going to show you where I put the ground I bolted the ground I ground off the paint on that little connection right here and uh, I got a nice little bolt right to ground my connector my and that green wire right there is the ground it goes all the way up okay, I got it connected to the back of the inverter there so we got your ground negative and your positive nothing close to being able to mess with that positive as far as grounding and my um, sewer hose um, compartment is going to go right back in there now that we got that all squared away okay here's where the pipe comes out from underneath right here I didn't put any foam or uh, insulation or sealing around it yet which I will comes up through here, comes through this pipe. I have it uh, hooked up onto this clamp right here to keep it nice and uh, organized. So then out of here, I got the negative broken out separately and it goes on and clamps up onto there. And then the positive comes up here, clamps into there. I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to get in there and see ya. Show you what that looks like, see if I can get in here. It's gonna, gonna be easy. Okay, let's see here. There's the top of the battery here. Okay, so here's the deposit. If I pull this back, you see I got some green, some green tubing, and then the uh, right behind that blue thing is the uh, positive terminal, which is connected. That blue thing covers the the lead um, connection for hooking to the. And then the negative is over here. I'm not sure if you can see that real too good. Really tight up there. But anyway, the negative. I also got covered in some of this uh, split tubing. But everything's well, well, well protected and tied down, um, protected from shorting, because obviously you don't want that uh, positive lead um, shorting out anywhere along the chassis, which is why I use the split tubing to protect it. And then I'll use some of this foam like here. I'll squirt foam all around here to insulate it and keep bugs out and moisture and things like that. So, okay, so that's the, that's the whole connection. Okay, next thing is to uh, power an outlet to the inverter. So, 
This power, this outlet was already here. It was wired into the generator and the shore power. But uh, I disconnected the wire that went to this and instead ran my own wire. Just use some Romex here. It runs it up back up there behind the TV. I took this little cabinet pack uh, down till I can um, run it across here. It goes down there and it goes down back behind the fridge. And then it runs out and it comes out back here behind the inverter. And here's my wire right here. And I, I kept that uh, split tubing, kept split tubing on it just to protect it. But uh, then I got this, uh, I put a plug on the end here. So that's the, uh, so now that, that outlet over here will be an inverter outlet only. So I'll run off the battery. So unless the inverter's on, that plug won't work. So anyways, that's plugged in. Um, Next thing we do, I gotta put this all back together. Okay, um, so this is actually a couple years after I installed it. I'm kind of finishing this video finally. But here it shows it installed, and this is actually showing what I actually swapped it out for the SW2000. Uh, I wanted to be able to run my microwave and a couple other things, so it needed a little bit more juice. So I upgraded to the 2000, but it's the exact same size. It fits in exactly like the 1000 did. But you can see I've got this plug here, which I have um, an adapter. It basically hooks into Romex, and I have it on a right angle like that, so I can just plug it in here. And then that Romex runs around, runs through the back of the chassis uh, and up to the front, which I'll show you in a second. And um, you can see this is the new uh, box, the sewer hose box. I actually made that out of aluminum, but I'll make another video on that. But... I have easy access to this compartment now because I put these little clips right here and these hook up with these little clips on the bo bottom here so anytime I want to get in and out of here I just pop it down here like that, Oops, pop it in and pop it just snaps into place and it stays on there uh, pretty solid so when I need to get back in there again but that Romex runs from behind there, it runs from behind the refrigerator back up the wall and then I ran it so this is my inverter plug. So I have a remote inverter plug up here. So this is the only place, you know, in here is where I usually work on my computer and stuff like that right here on this table. And I can plug in my coffee maker right here. I can plug in uh, the microwave. I can run the microwave plug over here. Um, and then the remote switch for the inverter is right up here. All you have to do is push this button and it comes on. And now my inverter is ready to rock. Uh, I thought maybe I was going to run another inverter plug somewhere in the RV, but I really never needed it. I either have the generator running and can use the other plugs or I can just run an extension cord over here to the inverter. So that's the finished up inverter installation.